They can't have a fear of failure. They just have to believe in their product, believe in their business, and then go 100 miles an hour after it. That's what drives success, according to Bill Ford Jr. Young startups and entrepreneurs attending the first annual Detroit Startup Week get a chance to hear from Ford and other successful Detroiters. The event is meant to build bridges between different businesses in order to improve Detroit. It's really a, a rebirth of ideas, and to me, that's hugely important. There's a lot of talk about growing tech companies in Detroit. I'm 29 years old. I started the business about four years ago, so we've been in stealth. We're getting ready to launch our flagship product, which is a music streaming and internet radio service. Duran Davis is the creator of an internet company called Love Labs. He says it's important to invest in young talent. Instead of having those software engineers leave the colleges and go to Silicon Valley, we have a company now, along with other companies as well, where they can stay here in Detroit City. The attendees have something in common. They believe in the city itself, not just their individual goals. Starting up restaurants, starting up bars, starting up uh, you know, other things other than tech. Everybody around Detroit is pulling for each other to make it, and I love that spirit. Pose it, solve it, pay it forward. That's the concept behind this idea's wall. Attendees write what they think is a problem in Detroit and offer a solution. For example, this one says provide more entrepreneurship-based programs to young kids in high school. Well, organizers will take all these post-its, put it in a report, and they'll use that report to influence next year's startup week. Where are we one year later? How have we gotten better? How have we gotten worse? And once you get your business going, it's important to evolve. That's why Ford is looking to innovate driverless cars. And we're going to be part of that, that uh, solution. And our, our world is, is changing even as we're standing here. In Detroit, Simon Chowdhury for the Now Detroit.